Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on a laptop in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. I got a whole entire pack prepared for you guys so therefore stay tuned and if you enjoy this type of content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel that's what I've made so so much. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, for the first part of today's video, I prepared a brand new game user settings file for you guys and what's also super cool about this is that I did the whole entire benchmark by myself guys where I compared like all of the best stretch resolutions and how much more FPS you gain actually in comparison with native. So therefore guys, if your laptop does support this, you can just straight up like take a look at this list here and you will see that on something like 1656 times 1080, you're gonna get 23% more FPS actually. And on the resolution I chose for the game user settings itself, which is 10, uh, 24 times 768 you actually get 45.6 percent more fps which is crazy so therefore guys let's just say you're running right now like 70 fps or something like that you're gonna have well over 100 if you actually switch over to 1024 times 768 and i already put it in here into this game user settings so therefore guys all you have to do is just simply join my discord where you can get this i'm just gonna name this whole entire file probably like laptop boosting pack or something like that so therefore guys just simply join my discord and from there you can get those game user settings just simply open it up and drag them here onto your um, desktop so you get them here now and what you're gonna do now is go into Windows search bar type in presenter temp presenter and open up the first file then we're gonna click onto local press F on our keyboard until we find Fortnite games saved config Windows client and then we can see right now our current game user settings and yeah guys what you want to do is literally like straight up delete them and just simply replace them with those new game user settings and then you already applied them here correctly and just to make sure that you don't change them by accident guys go into properties here and actually put in here the check read only under attributes and press apply press ok and now your game user settings are applied correctly with the best optimized game user settings for laptop players guys you also can take like a quick look at them and you can see that everything is applied correctly we get somewhere here the resolution 1024 times 768 so you don't have to do anything for yourself guys and yeah it's all in there and with that said we're pretty much done here for the first step so guys and unlike with the other switch resolutions this one is still really really playable in my opinion especially when it comes down like to the factor how playable your experience is going to be because you know like other switch resolutions are maybe a little bit too stretched so therefore yeah it's gonna be like super super weird to play on it but with this one guys i gotta say it's absolutely totally playable i mean i'm just cranking here while talking with you guys and yeah you can see it for yourself here everything is still super super playable so if you're looking like for good compress guys definitely make sure to check it out 1024 times 768 as mentioned and it's already fully applied you don't even have to do anything for yourself guys so therefore I hope this helped out and I'll continue with the next step where I'm gonna show you how to optimize your laptop more for gaming. And yeah guys, I almost forgot to mention, I already have a whole entire guide where I show you the best Intel settings if you're on an Intel laptop guys trying to get max FPS. I'm just gonna put it right now here on screen and also in the description so please make sure to check it out. I'm gonna show you all the extra steps you can do in your Intel control panel to gain more FPS and actually boost your laptop performance. So therefore yeah, as mentioned, check it out if you guys are on Intel. And yeah guys, for this next step, I'm just gonna show you the most basic way ever to reduce your RAM usage and CPU usage on your Windows laptop all you guys have to do is just simply go into Windows search bar and type in advanced until you find the view advanced system settings panel here once you're in there you're just gonna open it up and there you can see already performance where we got visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory and what you guys want to do is click on the memory and in here now we can literally adjust our Windows appearance for best appearance for best performance or custom and yeah guys what you obviously want to do on a low-end laptop is just simply go here for the best performance guys and once once you apply it your windows is just gonna look a little bit different you know you're just gonna have as many like fancy animations or whatsoever but it's actually gonna work out so so much guys because all these background tests here you know the animations by opening up here let's say this menu they all take up so much ram and system power so therefore guys this is like the most basic step ever i would recommend you to do on any low end pc so therefore please just do this press ok here and then you can already close this and yeah you can see also when i'm moving here this window we don't have to preview yeah but this is like stuff which shouldn't be Really like bother you you know especially while playing so therefore guys it doesn't really matter so therefore press ok here and yeah we're already done with this step as well and yeah guys for this next step we're gonna take a look at a very specific program which is called automotive windows tweaker and we're just gonna open it up i already recommended this program so so often guys but it's literally still the best all you guys have to do is just simply extract it obviously here onto your desktop just open it up and click it onto automotive windows tweaker 4.8 exe 
just simply open it up and in the first place it's gonna show you like all your specs of your system and all that stuff but guys but we're gonna click here onto performance and you can see here we can do so so much guys um here in the first place what we want to do is pretty much make sure to disable all of these settings here which are unnecessarily so the ones which are already selected is good but we're also gonna go here onto disable windows time service prefetch service super fetch service Microsoft Edge preloading, disable Edge tab preloading, smooth scrolling, increase priority, turn off search indexer. And the only one which I would probably leave here is the file view discovery because that's actually like useful, you know. But besides that, those are all unnecessary services which you usually can't deactivate guys in your registry. So therefore, yeah, it's just super simple over this program. We're just gonna go into apply tweaks here real quick in the background guys. And once it is done here guys, you can see now that all these processes are disabled in the background, which is super, super nice guys. And yeah guys, once it is applied correctly, you can see now that all these services are deactivated in the background. So we're just gonna close the program. It's also gonna tell you now that you um, applied all those tweaks, you know. And yeah, now it's done pretty much and we already can move over with the next step. And yeah guys, for the next step, I also wanna give you some registry tweaks, which I did here in a folder itself, guys. And yeah, you can see it. we got stuff like disabling Google Maps, disabling Game DVR, disabling the Game Bar. You know, all the unnecessary stuff which you got here on our Windows PC. There's so, so much literally which you guys don't need. Power throttling, limited user account control rack, FN high priority. So therefore your Fortnite is always on high priority once you want to launch it, guys. You know, all these tweaks are super, super important. So therefore just go through them, you know, one by one. And you will see here once you try to actually like launch it, just simply double click onto like each and every one. It's just going to tell you that this here will actually like change the values, you know, in your registry are you sure that you want to continue mm -hmm. just gonna press yes here and you can see the key and value contained blah 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 up until the game bar you know this is like the um, normal like game bar here on windows which we don't need obviously has been changed so therefore click on okay here guys and we should be chilling 100 just go through each and every single one of these tweaks here guys and you should be chilling and yeah guys for the final step i'm just going to show you some additional steps to actually boost your gaming experience even more all you guys have to do is just simply go into windows search button type in game mode until you find the game mode settings and guys i already did like a full-on video showing actually that the game mode does indeed not boost your fps on fortnite like i made a whole entire video about it where you could see that I was literally losing FPS while using it. So therefore I can't really recommend using the game mode right now here on Windows 11 at least. On Windows 10 it was also kind of the same thing so therefore I would recommend you to actually leave it here on off guys. This is super important. And once we go into graphics guys you can see now that we can uh, add applications here and yeah what you want to do is search for Fortnite actually which I already have added here but if you don't have it like straight up just go into browse and there you can see it you know like local desk, program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64. And there you should have now here your Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. This is the exit pretty much for Fortnite. So make sure to select the right one here. Um, it's also like the largest one. Just simply edit here. And once we're here in this list, we should have Fortnite now here. So we're just gonna click onto options. And there you can see now graphics preference. What do you prefer for graphics performance? Let Windows decide, power saving or high performance. And of course guys, we're gonna click onto high performance. It should also tell you like which kind of GPU you're running here right now on your PC. And yeah, for me it's the RTX 2070. We're just gonna select it here onto high performance, save it. And then we're pretty much done here already and can close this. And now we're just gonna restart our PC and we already applied everything correctly. And you yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Before, come get inside. Dami Gucci, Lee, come take a dive.